The most amazing thing about all these people, they all live here in Maine. They are the many faces of Maine. Things have really changed in the last 20 or 30 years when at most you'd hear a smattering of French and a couple of other European languages once in a while. Maine has changed, so has the country, and so has the world. Hello and welcome to a very global place, Maine. Maine has always had a rich tradition of many cultures and nationalities. There were the French Canadians from Quebec, the Finns and the Swedes from Northern Europe, the Scots and the Irish from the Maritimes, and the Greeks and the Portuguese who came here to fish. These and many others settled right here in Maine. These ethnic groups all melted into our one American culture and English was the predominant language. Today our cities and towns are still welcoming new and diverse cultures from all over the world. Russians, Cambodians, Chinese, and Somali to name just a few. In fact, there are over 35 languages represented at this one elementary school right here in Portland. There's even a new newspaper, The Quarterly Neighbors, which publishes stories in half dozen or more different languages. In today's business world, if the world talks to us and we aren't able to talk back, we can only react to trends, not set them. On that subject, let's hear from Richard Coyle. He's president of the Maine International Trade Center. So it's imperative that you provide these opportunities for the students while they're young because it can take them into career directions that will have long-term effects. Well, Maine is a small market. Maine is a small economy. Uh, we are only 1.3 million people. In order to succeed, a company needs to look beyond the borders of Maine. That means not only looking at the other 49 U.S. states, but also looking at the world as a whole. Foreign languages will enable you to have many more possibilities than if you only have English. You'll be able to penetrate foreign markets, understand your business partners, understand the rules and regulations of the foreign government, and in general, uh, enhance the experience, not only from an economical perspective, but also your own personal enjoyment. Uh, I think foreign languages leads to a much richer life, um, and I would recommend it strongly to anyone looking at uh, uh, academic curriculum that they have to include not only just the basics of mathematics and science and of course English language and literature but also a strong curriculum of foreign languages as well. Bonjour. One of the reasons we start them so young is that young children are actually programmed for language. It's a very, very good time to teach them a second language. Um, their brain has, has more connections, if you want, um, and that enables them to acquire a language comfortably and naturally. Uh, they're also terrific mimics. So a young child will actually speak a second language with a native-like accent. Starting them young also gives them a gift of time. It takes time to learn a language, your own and a second language. So the earlier you start, the better the chances are that the student will actually gain some proficiency in that language. teaching the little ones precisely because they are so hungry for it, they are not intimidated by it, they, um, they're just naturals at it. If I come in and start speaking at a regular pace, they're not concerned about hearing every single word, understanding every single word. They pick up, they read my body language, they put it all together and say, she must be asking us about our weekend. And so we can move so comfortably without any of the handicaps that the older child naturally comes with because it's no longer a natural experience. In French, this is a far. Going back even further to ancient Greek, the word for lighthouse was pharos. The pharos of Alexandria was probably the world's first lighthouse. It was one of the marvels of the ancient world. 
see, learning foreign languages really does make you smarter. Let's hear from Don Brudershan at the Maine State Department of Education. In terms of academic achievement, foreign languages really does make all students smarter, those who are able to take advantage of those programs, from the academically very gifted and talented students all the way to those students who are really at risk. Studies have shown over the years from the 1960s right up through the 1990s, both in terms of elementary language students and also those at the secondary school level, that those students who have had foreign language for a period of years in the elementary school far surpass their peers who have had no foreign language experience in terms of basic skills on tests such as the Metropolitan or the Iowa basic skills. Those kind of achievement tests have shown those uh, comparison studies. Also at the high school level, particularly in terms of SAT scores and also in ACT scores, um, those students, those high school students who have taken four or more years of, of foreign language at the high school level have also shown significant gains over their counterparts, their peers who have not had those experiences in the verbal sections particularly of the SATs. My name is Seth. I'm from a very small town in rural Maine. And tomorrow I graduate from Columbia University with a master's degree in international finance. Language has been an invaluable asset, both academically and as I've tried to get a job more recently. The younger one is exposed to a foreign language as well, the, the, the better able he's he is to master it completely without an accent. And, and, I've, and this has been proven in, in countless studies. And I know for a fact that um, I had, for example, a much easier time absorbing Spanish because I started it young. And it's also helped me to learn additional languages, French and Italian. Being able to communicate with someone in their native language, even if they speak English, is a sign of respect. And it opens up windows of opportunity to build uh, more substantial friendships. The world is changing, and in a global economy, we should be able to speak more than one language. Hi, I'm Mike Luciano. Uh, I work at Madison Paper. I'm the director of human resources. I'm also the director for Milikoski North America, the Finnish company that owns this mill behind me, along with the New York Times. I have benefited from knowing a number of languages because my work involves me traveling to other countries especially in Europe and in Scandinavia. And I have found it very useful in the advancement of my career to know more than one language. I think we all take it in school just to take a language, but you really need to take the time to learn it and practice it, and you'll get ahead. I'm originally from Maine. I uh, studied Japanese at Bowdoin College, and then I went to Japan, worked there for two years teaching English. And then I was able to come back to Maine, work at the Trade Center here, and I use Japanese every day, and I'm very excited about it. Well, for example, last week in Japan, we organized the main fair. Main lobsters, main colleges, and main made products were showcased. Uh, they created a lot of interest. Um, and I think Japanese helped me directly communicate with the Aomori government, the Japanese government side that set this up. So we were able to do things a lot quicker. Is this the legacy we want to leave our children? closed factories, a manufacturing economy that was shipped overseas? Or do we want to prepare them to succeed in an exciting global economy, an economy based right here in Maine, so our best and brightest young people will find great jobs here and stay here in Maine? Let's hear what Julia Schultz, co-founder of the Penobscot School, has to say. No, no company exists solely for a Maine market anymore. No, no um, university department, no social service agency exists only in English anymore. We have so many immigrants that have come to Maine that there's a, there's a crying need for language knowledge. And so I think that um, in almost any aspect of the economy or of social life, intellectual life in Maine today, it's necessary to know more than one language. Okay, let's review some of the reasons why learning a foreign language is so important. It makes you smarter, gives you more opportunities, helps your state and your country, and it's fun. So there you have it. Let's all get together to face the challenges of this new global millennium. Let's learn a language. Let's open our hearts and minds to understand other cultures. Let's lead Maine into a future where children stay here because we've created the right economic opportunities to keep them here. We have no other choice. Think about it.